There are so many myths about how to cook a roast chicken. No wonder we can sometimes get it wrong. Some recipes tell us to trust the chicken, others tell us to stuff it with lemon and thyme or garlic and herbs. Some even tell us to turn it onto the breast and roast it. No wonder there's so much confusion. Now I've got some great ideas to help you cook the perfect roast chicken every time. So the first thing, and this might seem like an obvious thing, but make sure that you start with a good quality fresh chicken. Now secondly, take it out of the fridge, wash it, pat it dry, and leave that to rest for between 30 and 60 minutes at room temperature, so that warms up slightly before it goes into the oven. Now the reason that you do that is because you don't want the center of the chicken to be really cold when it goes in the oven. That's when you risk it being undercooked. Now the next stage is just to roughly chop some potatoes and throw them into a bottom of a roasting tray. Now the reason I do that is I'm gonna stand the chicken on top of the potatoes, and that allows the air to circulate underneath the chicken. Now some recipes would say use an onion or different vegetables, but I just want to make the flavor of the chicken the hero. That's why I'm just using something neutral like potatoes. Now you'll also notice, as we haven't trussed the chicken, that if the chicken's nice and relaxed and the air gets all the way through, creating great airflow and good even cooking. So now all we need to do is a good sprinkling of sea salt inside and out and brush that with some butter. About 20 grams of butter is more than enough. So now put into a preheated oven at 160 degrees C. Now this is important because a lot of recipes will ask you to put the chicken in at 180 or even 200 or higher. And that's when you end up with a really dry roast chicken. So it's 160 degrees C for 90 minutes for a typical 1.8 kg chicken. Next, remove the chicken from the oven and let that stand for 10 to 15 minutes. Meanwhile, we're gonna crank up the oven to 250 degrees C. Two reasons for doing this. The chicken is gonna rest so that all the juices stay within the chicken, but then when we pop it back into this oven at 250 degrees C, that gives us a beautiful crisp and golden skin. Now with roast chicken, you really do have to get the temperature right. So the temperature you're looking for is between 72 and 78. Now stick that into the thick part of the chicken, right into the thick breast. Now not in the leg, often people will say go into the leg. There's too much bone in the leg. Now if you don't have a temperature probe, the other way, you just use a skewer like this and just stick it straight into the breast. You want to see some nice clear liquid coming out and just try that on the back of your hand. It needs to be really hot. And that is so I know that this chicken is cooked to perfection. So the next thing is for us to leave that for five to 10 minutes, just leave it to rest. Now the reason we do that is so the moisture stays within the chicken and we have a beautiful, nice tender roast. Okay, so that's rested. Now I'm gonna just take a couple of slices off so that you can see how moist this is. You can actually see the juices running down in between the slices. Now that is what a perfect roast chicken should look like. So next time you roast a chicken, don't waste time tying it up and don't stuff it with unnecessary herbs and seasons that you don't need. Just keep it simple. Cook it at a low temperature for a longer period of time, crisp it up, and you will have the perfect roast chicken every time.